So it's that time of the year again, and by that I mean it's the holidays, and the holidays have been crazy here for me, but I did manage to carve out a little bit of time to make a block print of Santa Claus. I thought this would be a fun print to do, and it's based on a few of the really cool folk art Santas that my mom has in her house. So for the supplies I'm using a Blick Gray Battleship Linoleum. I enjoy how this carves and the level of definition I can get. And I am using a speedball carving tool. I'm also going to be using the Blick Water Soluble Block Printing Ink when it gets to the printing portion a little bit later in the video. To protect my desk surface, I am using a bench hook that my fiance made me from some scrap wood. This also allows me to put the print up against something if I need it to be a little bit more stable. Now, as always, as I always mentioned with carving, um, these tools are really, really sharp. So try not to carve towards your fingers and don't carve towards your face ever because if the tool slips, you can get cut. So just that word of safety. Whenever I carve, I often start out with my smallest carving tool first to carve a very fine line around my subject. And this is useful for when I take my bigger carving tool, it acts like a stop and doesn't let me carve away too much of the subject. So with printmaking, you're always trying to think in the reverse. Not only will this item be printed in the reverse, but the part you're carving away will actually be the part that stays white. No ink will get to that part. And that can be hard to wrap your mind around at first. Usually when you put down a line with a pencil or something, that is your dark or your mark that you're making. But here when you put down a line, you're actually taking away material. So you always want to be thoughtful about what you're taking away and what you're leaving behind. So a lot of times, especially when I needed to create a line between white and red, I would have to get creative and maybe carve out a very thin line that would be red to go around a white object to separate it from another white object. And these are all things that it's kind of fun and an exercise for your brain to think about when you're printmaking. And it's also very important to think about when you're printmaking. And remember, you can always carve away more later, but it is difficult or in some cases impossible to add back. So this first print, I was actually happy with how I had carved it. It's a fairly simple print and I knew what I wanted to go for from the get-go. Um, but I am inking a test print and this just lets me know in case there is something I wanted to carve away. And this is what you want to do every time before starting on your final prints. So I always ink my test prints on a fairly cheap paper. It's just a sketchbook paper. I don't print on really, really expensive paper, but this is something important that if you had bought special paper to print on, you would want to know if your print was going to look how you intended it to look. So for this, I actually over inked the block and it kind of removed some of the very thin white lines. So I had to wash my block, let it dry, and then re-ink it and retry to make sure that I had the right proportion of white lines and there was nothing more I needed to carve away. So generally when I start out to make a print I have some idea of what I want to use it for but I just really wanted to carve a Santa in the spirit of the holidays and I like him. You could print a Santa like this on the front of a card. I think I might print him on some really thick paper and use it to make some nice handmade ornaments for my tree. Now here I am printing the snowflakes that I carved earlier and I'm using a silver printing ink from Blick. I like their silver and gold ink. It does have a bit of a chemical smell but I didn't really like the snowflakes over the Santa. I mean you'll get to see it in a second so tell me what you think about that and for this I could get enough pressure just to make a handprint and it turned out really nice. I didn't need to put the book on it to get a good print but I I like the snowflakes I like how they look alone but I'm not sure I like how they look over the Santa so I have some Santas with snowflakes on them and some Santas without but that's just about all for this video thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it I hope that you are having a happy holiday season 
I know some of you might not celebrate Christmas, and I hope that you're having a good holiday, even if you don't celebrate any holidays. Um, if you do, happy whatever you celebrate, whether it be Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or Christmas or Yule, or if you're just celebrating a few days off of work and school. We can all use a little bit of time off during the winter, I think, to cuddle up with some hot chocolate and do some art. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a happy holidays from my family to yours.